Hello everyone, this is Nikita and in this video I wanted to talk about property optimization. So this is a very important concept and also important in the purview of the interviews, the PEGA interviews. So I would like you all to understand the concept behind property optimization so that uh, it is easier for you to answer the question in interview also and also for your day-to-day -day activities. So let's get started. So we will cover what is property optimization. So uh, we will understand that uh, why, what is a property optimization and then why do we need to optimize a property and uh, does optimization, uh, you know, delete the property from blob or it stays there. So these are the few, these are few of the important points we will discuss today. So let's get started. So coming to what is a property optimization. Uh, so this is basically creating a dedicated column for a property in a database table. So in my uh, previous videos about classes and tables, I have uh, briefed you about what is a class and how do we map it to a table, right? So basically when we create a property also, so we are creating a property in a class, okay? So since we are creating in a class, uh, the class is tied to a table, but we are not directly creating a column in a database table. Okay, so we are just creating a property in a class. A property stays in a blob. Okay, there is uh, there is a separate uh, column in database table, which is PZPV stream. So that is a blob, which uh, which contains a binary object. So all these properties are basically uh, compressed and then stored in there okay so that is a blob so when we create a property we basically uh, save all all of these in a pzpv stream but uh, during optimization what happens is we create a dedicated column for that property whatever property name you will create in your uh, application in a, any class same name uh, database column would be created okay in that table whichever class you have mapped it to you are creating a dedicated column for that property okay so by default what happens when we create a property as i've told you it saves it in a blob okay and when you optimize it what happens is you create a dedicated column okay so that's what property optimization is now the question is why do we need to optimize the property so anyways the property is getting stored in pzpv stream so what was the need of optimizing the property it is needed when there is any uh, reporting need in your application so there is a report definition rule through which we fetch uh, and we create reports for an application uh, suppose if there is any reporting need in your application you have to create a report definition for that okay so uh, so basically fetching the properties from a blob for reporting need is a very expensive operation basically we have to decompress uh, the blob each and every time you have to uh, we have to run the report definition so that's an expensive job though uh, report definition allows you to add the unoptimized property also but you will get a warning that uh, you have you should actually optimize the property for a good performance okay so it impacts your performance it's a very expensive operation so that is why when we create a dedicated column it, it becomes easy it's just a select uh, this this column from this table okay it, it is the query is as easy as that otherwise what happens is it's basically you're pulling it from pzpv stream okay so that's an expensive operation so that was the reason why we optimize the property now the question comes uh, is does optimization delete the property from blob as i've told you that uh, when we optimize the property we create a dedicated column okay from the blob okay we know that uh, blob contains all the property but we create an additional column but the properties still remain in the blob okay so all the obj operations we do in an activity all are done through blob okay when you do an obj open by handle you do not pull individual column you pull the whole blob okay whole blob of the from the 
class and that's how all the operations are done only for reporting purpose is uh, we need to optimize the property so that was the an that would be the answer of this question so now let's go to the application and see how does the optimization process take place so let me jump into my application okay so this is my class where i have some property created let me see yeah so comment is a property which is created in my uh, class uh, loan work okay so now when i have to optimize the property what are different ways i can do it first way is just right clicking on your property okay you can see an option of optimizing for optimize for reporting so that is the one first step which you can use so let me click on it okay so now you see the uh, it, it gives you some overview that comment will be exposed as varchat 32 column so that is uh your data type it would be varchat 32 in the database table so it uh, immediately tells you that uh, this would be your data type okay so that's what it is and now you can see that it is telling uh, for which classes it will be optimized okay so these many classes this particular comment would get optimized and the table is the same the work table so all of these classes are tied to this particular table work table so uh, so my new property would be created in this table i will show you uh, how it looks in the table also okay so when you go to next this property optimization process will start before that what is the other way to create uh, to optimize a property i'll show you go to the property okay in the property actions you can see an option of optimize for reporting this is a second option you can use so it's just actually redirecting to the same landing page which we already have okay so these are two ways you can uh, optimize a property okay uh, let me do a next okay so now there is uh, telling us clicking next will start optimization for the eligible classes it is telling us the database name and all the classes and table now clicking on next okay so now uh, it is telling us that optimization has already started a background thread is updating the instance of the below classes by copying the property value to the newly created column so what happened this uh, particular uh, property right so there might, might be already several instances created for this class so the thing is uh, if the instances are already present and the property contains the value so what happens is uh, column population job actually fills the value of that property from the blob to the dedicated column okay so this is a process uh, which is done just after optimization and it's done in the background it's also called column population job okay so what you saw here was uh, it is just telling you that that uh, a background thread will do that the column population job and uh, then there is the status of the job you can see through column population job dashboard which actually tells you that this job uh, basically wherein this property has been optimized and the status uh, if it is not processed what is the percentage of processed all these things uh, you can see it here okay so this is how it is done uh, so we have already optimized the property so our next step would be i want to see in my database uh, in my database table whether my new property got created or not okay so now how, how can i see that i can go to configure go to system then database then modify schema okay now uh, you have to uh, check your specific database now i have to go to my uh my uh, my table okay now click on this columns in the table now you have to search if your property is there so if you remember i created a property called comment okay so this is present here and valcat 32 this uh, this was shown in the when we were optimizing the property so this is what uh, is done when we optimize a property a new dedicated column gets created 
if you want to see uh, how does the blob look like so you can see there is a pz pv stream property okay so this is a uh, this is a binary large object or blob okay so this was about optimization of property this was a simple example of optimization uh, there is a different scenario wherein we optimize the page property uh, wherein we optimize the page list property there uh, where we have to create declare index and all that i would cover in my next video this was just uh, just to let you understand what optimization is thank you so much for joining me in this video i will see you again in my next video till then stay safe take care bye bye